Good afternoon. It's just approaching five o'clock on Tuesday, the 24th of September, 2024. And tonight it's episode six of season 21 of Who Do You Think You Are? And it's the turn of X Factor winner, Cheeky Chappie himself, Ollie Mers. Let's dive into his quite interesting story. Let's go. Now, Ollie is on the way to his dad's to find out more about his background and his roots. So let's find out. Good evening. I'm your host for this evening, Callum Marriott, and I'll be commentating through this episode. Good evening. So today, the first time that I could 
Mm-hmm. And then they gave him a backseat down to a big rock climb. And then I went extra hours and my mum saw that. We were really struggling with having this kind of conversation. So, this is a real step in your life. So currently, Ollie Murd is on the way to see his dad, Pete. And it's Dad. How you doing, Dad? Dad, to see you. So, can you tell me more about your child? I know that when they didn't use that again. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? So Olimer's already noted his granddad with Latvian. We spoke about it before, which is I asked him when he was a lot older. And in 2002, I took Dad back for the first time in nearly 50 years. What's this? It's a video I took. Hmm. That's Ringo. We had the film. Where he's from. We wanted to go on this journey to try and find out about his life there. <laughs> so currently, so Pete, Ollie's dad, is showing Ollie Murd a video of his he grandfather in Latvia trip in 2002. From 2002, should I say. This. What is this? Ed, Edward. Young Coat. Oh, is this birth certificate? It's Edward Murder's birth certificate that Ollie's his father has just given given Ollie's father has just so given Ollie granddad his granddad's birth certificate. Edward Awardo Mills. Yeah. Mers. Edward. So it's Edward, not Eddie then. That's right, yeah. Edward. Edward. Edward Yankovskis. 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 Edward So his grandfather was called Edward S. Uh, Ed Koskish. That's the female Jankowska. And Jankowskis is the male of the surname. So he's not a Mers? No. So his grandfather is no, not a Mers. He's a Kosko. My granddad. So the Mers comes from his dad, Peter's granddad. Who's, the Murs relation who's, comes from his who's granddad. Great granddad Murs, then? This is your great grandfather. So currently, this he's showing his great, is showing his son <gasps> Ollie, the Hang great on. his grandfather at the circus. So who's this lady here? That's his wife, Katrina. Oh my God, she's she's holding him up on the street. Yeah. He's yeah. playing the guitar. He's playing the guitar, yeah. And what? This is a rem- it is is a remarkable episode already, and I'm only I'm only about forty forty minutes in. I mean, I've done some his, amazing. His grandfather and his grandmother that, were the double act in the circus. I mean, maybe if I turned up at the O2 like that, <laughs> see the media will get a, a double double act. <laughs> I hope here. Yeah. No, so now Pete, Ollie Murs's dad, is showing Edward and Murs. Oh, wow. Here's the translation. Edward Albert Murs. Albert Murs. Love that. And he was born on the 31st of October. So currently, Ollie's dad is showing a marriage certificate from Edward Edward Murs. The Riga Salamonska Circus. The place of work was a Rigo Salamanska. In Britain, in English, that means circus. Granddad Ed was born in 1932. He had an affair with Veronica. Yes, so, yeah. Did Catherine know that? Eventually, she must have done, yeah, because my dad went to live with my granddad. This story is mad already, but I'm not going to give too much away because it's on the iPlayer as I speak. So if you want to see more of this story without watching this first, go to the ITV, go to BBC iPlayer. Sorry. Wow. My dad said to me, 
she never turned around or waved. She just walked away. And you, you never saw her again. So it's heartbreaking. So parts of this story is exciting because his grandfather and grandmother his grandfather and grandmother worked in a circus, but then part of this story is emotional throughout. In the 1960s and early 70s, Father managed to contact my dad through letters, and my dad chose to ignore them. He told himself that his mum didn't want him anymore, and I suppose that's his way of dealing with it. And um, he was very remorseful that he never replied to her. And you don't know what happened to her in later life. It's really sad that your, your dad felt like that. I would love to find out what happened to Veronica and where she's buried. So this story has turned from, has turned from happiness really, to really sadness. The mystery of Veronica, my great grandmother, as well as finding out more about Edward Albert Murders. And I think I obviously have to go to Latvia. That's where I've got to start, right? Well, what were you really doing Latvia? Ollie has found out that his great-grandfather, Edward's Albert Murders, was a circus performer. He was in a double act with his wife, Katrina. He's also discovered that Edward's had an affair with his great-grandmother, who was called Veronica Jankowska. The family know very little about her, except that she last saw her son, or his granddad, Eddie, when he was just 12 years old. Now, Ollie Murs is on the way Ollie to... to Ollie, Ollie is travelling to Latvia's capital city, Riga, to find out a bit more of his circus background and his grandmother and... And all his grandparents. It's a long way from home. <laughs> Let's find out more. This is definitely not Essex now. I'm here in Latvia. We're in Riga. He's starting by trying to trace the circus that his great grandfather Edwards and his wife Katrina performed. He's starting to try and find the circus where his great grandfather Edward and his great grandmother Katrina performed. My great granddad Edward and Katrina. They were circus performers. The floor was in reach. They were in the Sala Monster Circus. No, it's the Arcade. Read the circus. Ah, it is still a functional circus. I've got to go and find it. I want to go and look at it, surely. Right, let's go. So Ollie is approaching the Riga Circus. Now, I don't want to ruin this for you, viewers. I'm going to move swiftly on. So now, Ollie Murd has gone to the Latvian State Archives to find out how Edward and Murd and Libby and Sikoska met. Veronica. So I'd love to know if you've done anything about this mystery woman, really, who we have no information about. Yeah, okay, we have some information and I will show you the first one, which is the birth registration entry for your great-grandmother, Veronica. And he's looking at the birth 
Russian. entry for his great grandfather, mm-hmm. Edward oh, yeah. the <laughs> So this is in Russia. Yeah, because by that time I Veronica was born, Martin was part of the Russian Empire. Did, did you have that translating in English? Yeah. So Veronica was born on the 17th of August 1909. Yeah. She's daughter to Joseph and Tekla. Right. Your great great grandparents. Your great great grandparents, wow. And it was in Divinch? Divinsk. Where is Divinsk? Divinsk is the old uh, name. It was renamed to Belfort. Mm-hmm. That's situated to the southeast of Latvia. So, doing the math, my great granddad Edward was born in 1890. So, he's a good 20 years older than Veronica. <laughs> So I'm really intrigued how they met and found each other at some point. Oh, uh, okay. I'll show you. The archives has a very large collection of passports. We are lucky to have... He's looking at a passport of passport Veronica. Your great grandmother Veronica. No way. Oh, wow. And there she is. That's my great grandma. So... It- if you missed what I've just said, Holly Murdy is looking at a passport of Veronica. This passport was the passport. Um, passport. Second 25, 1931. By that time, she lived in Riga. All oh, right. So she was 21. Yeah. And um, living in Riga. In different old places. Okay, so what am I looking at here? So you can see here, so. Oh, so you just walk <laughs> It's a work permit for a Veronica permit to work for the circus maxim in different Finnish regions, starting from 27th of April 1931. So she was in the circus as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, that makes sense now. So she went to Finland. Right. And I know that my great granddad Edward was in Finland at one point. So they must have met in the circus. So he's, he's worked out that his yeah. grandparents had met, yes, in, the, met in the circus. Alongside, oh he did passport no with Edward and his wife Katrina. Wow, is my great granddad Edward. And he's Katrina. looking at the great great, great granddad now. Edward, Oli Murray's uncle right now. Veronica. I'll show you. Is. Moving swiftly okay. on, though, it's, uh, it's another part of the show. So, I don't, like I've said, I don't want to ruin this for you viewers. I want you to watch this now on iPlayer, so you know a bit more about the cheeky chappy Ollie Murs. Moving swiftly on. Well, he can now take his paternal family tree back four generations. He's discovered that his great great grandparents were called Tekla Yankovska. Joseph Kankoska and Joseph Kaskoskisk. Now he's finding out what happened to his great grandma, great grandmother Veronica after after the circus. So currently, standing in the flat where his great grandma Veronica lived is Ollie Murs and the Astoria. So definitely, this flat was the first home for the newborn Eddie. So this is where it began for him. This is the exactly. first time. Exactly. And Veronica is only twenty-two. That's her first baby. And she comes back here on her own. Been so scary. The situation must have been really, really hard financially and also emotionally. Yeah. And and how long did they stay here for? Not very long. They moved out in April 1932. And we have a document 
and it's an employment questionnaire for unemployed Now we're looking at a document on the merge of from the state. The moving out document. Give us your name, Ian Kostis, yeah. But you will have another uh, name. Tech guy. Ah, that's her mum. Yes, the right of mother. And <laughs> to make it more easier, we have a persuasion. So Tekla has gone to the state to ask for exactly. money to help. Yes. Okay. So and then here you, you can Now this bit I'm not going to ruin either. Please yeah. watch it on iPlayer okay. for more info. Thank my, you. My granddad. Other bits in this Oli Murs, who do you think you are episode episode six that I've not recorded is um Oli Murs found out that he's half Latvian or a quarter Latvian throughout this episode. So if you want to see Olimer's cheeky chappy from the X Factor story on Who Do You Think You Are, it's streaming now on BBC iPlayer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again for the last in the series next week. Gemma Collins, Who Do You Think You Are? Bye for now. So I'm going to say my piece on this. I thought this Oli Murs episode was remarkably interesting throughout. Um, quite topical, I would say. Because as I played you in the VT or the clips, or what you would like to call them, um, he his grandmother and grandfather worked in the circus. And there was some more shocking revelations for the... Oli Murs to get his head round. So I thought this was quite interesting alongside with the first episode of this series with Ricky McClaws, um, Who Do You Think You Are? I thought, oh yeah, parts of, parts of the series were quite interesting as well with other celebrities, but I found this one more intriguing, would I say, to Paddy McGuinness and Jessica Ellen Hill. So I preferred Ollie Murs' story and Vicky McClaws' story to them two celebrities previously. Um, but if you want to see this remarkable Who Do You Think You Are, Ollie Murs, it's streaming now on BBC iPlayer. So why don't you go ahead and watch it? And all that's left for me to say is good night. Good morning in the UK and a very, very good night in Australia, Sydney. Where else are you watching? Good afternoon or good night. He of British born and made in Korea for K pop experience on iPlayer has heard me out. A shocking new podcast unravels the satanic conspiracy theory. Listen to host on BBC Players. And if you've missed any recent episodes of Who Do You Think You Are on the BBC iPlayer, watch Vicky McClaws. Paddy McGuinness, Melanie Chah um, Chahanak, Rose Ellis, Rose Ailing Ellis, Jessica Ellen Hill, and obviously the one I've watched tonight, the one I've reviewed today, Oli Mers, are streaming now on the BBC iPlayer. I will be back with your final episode of Who Do You Think You Are, Season 21, Episode 7, next week, with Essex girl Gemma Collins. So, see you then. Good night for now. God bless. I sing you out with one of Oli Murs' best songs from his first album. This is busy. Let's go. Good night.
Weekends in bed, no scrambled eggs or bacon. I just get time for you. You. I see in the chats, I see in the clouds, we close our eyes, enjoy the view. We don't want to hear the real world rushing by, saying that we're crazy. We spend all our time lying side by side, going nowhere, really something, getting busy, doing nothing. We spend all our time lying side our lives, going nowhere. Really something, getting busy, doing nothing. No magazines or DVDs, we both got better things to do. Do. Let's hold your hand, we shall we dance together, it's so hard to choose. Choose. Every time we hear the real world rushing by, I know that we're just crazy. We spend all our time lying side by side, going nowhere, really something, getting busy, doing nothing. We spend all our time lying for our lives, going nowhere. Really something, getting busy, doing nothing, doing nothing. Really, really got there lying naked, phone rings, but I can't take it. We only get one line, you only get one line. Going nowhere, really something, getting busy, doing nothing. We spend all our time running for our lives. Going nowhere, really something, getting busy, doing nothing. Doing nothing. Really something, doing nothing.